This lesson deals with Supplemental Problem 3.2. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the Chapter 3 Supplemental Problems on page 2. Given this circuit, can you find the four node voltages, V sub A, V sub B, V sub C, and V sub D? Now we have an inspection algorithm for forming node equations to solve for node voltages, but what we have here are voltage sources with no series resistance, and so we can't do a source transformation. We did have a technique to cover this that was called the supernode method, and let's apply it to this circuit. You can think of nodes A and B as one supernode, and nodes C and D as one supernode. What we've got here is a voltage between these two nodes, so V sub B minus V sub A would be 5, and V sub C minus V sub D would be 23. The supernode AB has currents entering and leaving, and I just arbitrarily selected the currents in the resistors to be leaving the node. It doesn't really make any difference as long as once you pick it, you just kind of stick with it. So I've got 5 amps entering, and I've got this current leaving. I also have this current leaving and this current leaving. 5 amps would equal V sub A divided by 1, V sub B divided by 2, and then 1 amp. Put the 1 on your side of the equation, so you get a minus 1 plus 5 is 4, V sub A, and then a half times V sub B. Do the same thing at supernode CD. So I've got the currents leaving here, and I've got a current entering. So 1 amp is equal to V sub C divided by 3, V sub D divided by 4, and I also have a current source here, 5 amps leaving. So what's entering is equal to what's leaving. Put this on the other side of the equation as a minus 5, so I get minus 4, 0.33 times V sub C, and then 0.25 times V sub D. I actually have a 4 by 4 matrix. I have the fact that 5 volts is equal to minus V sub A plus V sub B. If we think of this column associated with our first variable, a V sub A, V sub B, V sub C, and V sub D. Same is true for our second supernode equation. I've got that 1 times V sub C minus 1 times V sub D is 23. So here's the 23 is equal to V sub C times 1 and then minus 1 times V sub D. And then I have my third equation that 4 is equal to 1 times V sub A plus a half times V sub B and then nothing times C and D. And then lastly I have minus 4 is equal to 0.33 times V sub C plus 0.25 times V sub D. And again, this column is associated with multiplication of V sub A, V sub B, V sub C, and V sub D. You could solve for V sub A and V sub B and V sub C and V sub D using Kramer's rule. There are quite a few zeros here. It wouldn't be all that much work, but you could also maybe use your calculator. See if your calculator has a matrix manipulation option. And I did it in a mine here, and I found that V sub A was 1 volt, V sub B was 6 volts, V sub C was 3 volts, and V sub D was minus 20. Or maybe try using Kramer's rule and see if you get the same answers. And this is Supplemental Problem 3.2.